Post-pandemic, internal communications has become so complex. Not only do we need to have those basic skills that everyone expects, so the strategy, the writing, the creativity, the comms, but also the strategic advisor skills, which is where we're all aspiring to. And on top of that, a whole digital workplace skills, which I think there's still a lot of scope for us to be improving on. And in terms of um, what we need to be working on or focusing on right now are the middle managers. Upskilling the middle managers so that they're able to support and guide and connect with their staff. And that's what we're really seeing at the moment is there's been too long a reliance on cascade, not enough listening, not enough support for middle managers to to be able to communicate effectively with their people. And particularly if we're going hybrid, I'm in the very fortunate position of being able to work with lots of different companies. And this is where we're really seeing that managers are quite often specialists who have stepped into their role, might have some people management skills, but I think there are so many companies who are still trying to work out not only how they're doing hybrid, but then how can the managers get the most out of their people? And it's basic training such as, you know, how do you hold a hybrid meeting? How are you inclusive? And inclusivity isn't just about the five classic minority groups of diversity and inclusion. It's also about being inclusive in terms of the way people choose or are able to work. I was originally a physiotherapist and discovered that communication is such an essential skill of persuasion, communicating effectively, because I could pick when my patients decided they wanted to get better. And from there, once you look at communications, um, I fell into internal communications. I was given an opportunity with a Australian bank for a limited time contract in internal comms. I grabbed the chance and then I truly realised the power of internal communications within an organisation. And I was really fortunate that this particular organisation was quite advanced in terms of their approach to internal communications. And I was able to see the impact that it has on the people within the organisation. It is so important to connect with people who are experts in your profession and there's no better way than stopping looking over the fence and learning from what other people have done, what they've achieved and understanding best practice and also learning from their failings. Going to professional events like the IOIC Festival is so important because not only do you get to learn about best practice, you get to find out what other people have been doing, you get to learn from their mistakes by networking as well. Networking, meeting other people, meeting like-minded people and connecting again.